I've done a web series, part one and two, and I've just signed uh, a major project, uh, which I would really like uh, to wait till the producer talks about it. But it's an interesting, um, it's an interesting role for me because it's about a grandmother who, in her 60s, uh, has a baby, and it makes the whole family turn upside down. <laughs> are, you, are you happy with accepting grandmother roles now? Yeah, sure. See, life is a journey and every chapter is very interesting and uh, of course it would be ridiculous for me to want to play an ingenue or <laughs> to play romantic roles you know this stage of my life so it's important to do something that's age appropriate and uh, I do and I'm quite happy with that. Where do you see yourself in say the next five years or so in terms of uh, Indian cinema? The way you're kind of stepping into a few roles now and then? I have no idea. <laughs> Honestly, I just take each day as it comes. I, I really live in the present. Are you still very interested in being a movie star still? Um, I see. Acting is a craft. It's something that uh, I enjoy doing. And uh, I like to do it uh, occasionally. I don't want to be doing it every day you know, every week, every month, because I've been there, done that, you know, for 15 years. So I like it to be a part of my scheme of things. I don't want it to be my entire scheme. Well, I think arts should be liberal. I think uh, people shouldn't judge for they actually uh, experience a project. And uh, uh, it's, it's a shame when there's so much controversy over, over a film, really. So what do you think of this whole Me Too movement that's going around? Oh, I, I absolutely approve of the Me Too movement. I think that uh, the world consists of yin and yang. There should be a balance. And uh, it's important to coexist peacefully with respect and dignity. And uh, whenever those lines are, are crossed, I think it's important for people to speak up for what they believe in. I know that in our culture, it has not always been like that. We definitely live in a patriarchal society. Well, it's high time uh, people realize that, you know, <laughs> women deserve uh, to be respected. <laughs> How do you feel about this new generation now of screen sirens? Um, and did you ever imagine, for example, that someone like uh, Sunny Leon, uh, uh, an actress with a former porn background, would actually become a Bollywood star now? Well, I'll tell you something. She's a very beautiful girl. And she's very well spoken. And she's hard working. And I think everybody should be given opportunities to do what they want to do. She's disciplined, she works hard, she looks lovely, and uh, I'm glad things have worked for her. Before I joined Hindi cinema, it was very well defined. Either you were uh, a leading lady, you, you know, you, a Madonna, or you were the vamp. And uh, I think the parts that I played sort of uh, broke the mold in terms of the, you know, I played grey characters. Uh, you know, the bad girl with, you know, a good heart and there was a good reason for her to be bad. But these days there is, there's no definition. Uh, the leading ladies do everything and uh, are well accepted. There is the occasional meeting. Do you ever feel kind of nostalgic, regret when you, when you look at all, all the starlets who come out these days and the ones no, who are making a sensation in Bollywood? Not at all. Not at all. There's a time and place for everything. And your time is, you Mine, did your time? Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed, I enjoyed what I had. And uh, I enjoy my two days with my family, with my pets, with my travels, with my friends. It's a wonderful life, no complaints. Are you going to fade, Jen? <laughs>